हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर वसंता कहाड़कर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी महात्मा गांधी आर्ट्स साइंस एंड लेट एन पी कॉमर्स कॉलेज आरमोरी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर द लेक्चर ऑन राइनिया फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ राइनिया डिविजन टेरिडोफाइटा क्लास साइलोफाइटोपीडा ऑर्डर साइलोफाइटैलिस फैमिली राइनिया सी जीनस राइनिया नाउ देन ऑकरंस इट इज एन पेट्रीफाइट फॉसिल जीनस डिस्कवर्ड एट राइनिया चर्च इन स्कॉटलैंड बाय किंगस्टोन एंड लैग इन 1970 इट बिलोंग्स टू मिडल ड्यूनियन पीरियड इट इज नेम्ड राइनिया ड्यू टू इट्स ऑकरंस from the village rainia of of scotland kingston and lang thought and supported by evidence that in those time the plants grew in swampy marshes near the volcano so two species namely rainia major and rainia gynevagani are reported <coughs> now next uh, topic we are go discuss on the external morphology of rhinia the plant body of rhinia was a sporophyte the plant body of both the species consist of dicotomously branch horizontal rhizome and the erect aerial dicotomously branch stem the aerial stem of rhinia major were about 50 cm height and 1.5 mm to 6 mm in diameter where whereas the corresponding structure of rhinia gynevagani were 20 cm in height and 1.3 mm in diameter aerial stem was leafless the plants were rootless instead of root the unicellular rhizoids were present the terminal this is the external morphology of rhinia then the internal structure of rhizo of rhinia the internal structure of rhizo or stem is very simple it is differentiated into epidermis cortex and stem First of all, see the epi, uh, epidermis. The epidermis was one cell in thickness, with conspicuous cuticle on the outer side. The aerial stem bore the stomata on the epidermis. The stomata absent on the epidermis of the rhizome. The epidermis of rhizome contain unicellular rhizoid. below the epidermis the large zone of cortex was found the cortex is differentiated into outer cortex and inner cortex the outer cortex is 1 to 4 cell in thickness and is made up of large angular cell without any intercellular space next the inner cortex is loosely arranged the inner cortex had large intercellular space and thin wall the endodermis and perisecal layer were upset centrally present steel it is a protostelic type that is the pith absent and xylem is surrounded by phloem the endodermal and perisecal layer were altogether absent the xylem consists of tracheids only it is a exarch condition 
flow up consists of elongated thin walled cell with oblique end wall and the xylem is surrounded by flow up so this is the internal structure of rhizome rhinia then the reproductive structure the sporangia were cylindrical and always bore singly on the tips of some aerial branches the sporangia are large oval or cylindrical with pointed end each sporangia made up of three layered wall that is epidermis middle layer and rounded cell which may act as a tapetal layer there is a no columella and the sporangial cavity contain many spores all spores were similar that is the homosporous and were arranged in tetrad all spores were similar and arranged very tetrad the sporangia were indecent and it is thought that the spores <coughs> were released only on the decay each spore were cutinized and bear typical tri radiate uh, marking so this is the reproductive structure of rhinia Thank you.